going to show you how to make resin eyeballs out of ping pong balls. So these started out as ping pong balls. Now what you're going to need for that is obviously ping pong balls cut in half and you can just do that with a pair of scissors or a knife or however you want to do it. You're going to need sharpies, black and blue or whatever color eyeball you want for your eyeball. You're going to need obviously a paintbrush of some form. You're going to need a color tube or some other form of getting the coloration pigment out of the bags and into your resin and onto your eyeballs. Now I'm also going to be using a resin silicone cup because it's easy to clean and easy to mix in and a resin uh, stirring stick also made of silicone which makes it easy to clean and is reusable. I'm doing all this on a silicone surface because as you will see when I start making, this resin is gonna drip all over everything and this is not gonna stick to the silicone. So let's go ahead and get started on that. First thing I'm gonna do is just make a iris on my ping pong ball. And obviously this doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it as big as you want. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my black and outline. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Now the eyeballs I'm making, I'm making for some skeletons that are going to be hanging in a window and really, really, really far from the street. So they're not going to be seeing close up details on these. Now if you're going to use them for something else, close up, then you may want to do a better job than I just did on that because that's a terrible, terrible circle. Next thing we're going to want is our resin. So I'm going to go get that. So I'm using a one-to-one -one epoxy two-part resin. And by one-to-one, -one, it means that you're using equal parts of part A and part B. Once you mix them together, that's where the reaction starts. Now before that, it doesn't really matter if you keep them separated. So you just need to mix them up for a little bit. Make sure that they're good and mixed. It's really easy in these silicone containers because you can kind of mold them around your hand so it's easier to kind of make sure you're scraping all the areas. Now a lot of people say don't scrape with the resin and then put it into another container and blah 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 and all this stuff and I don't do any of that. And so far I haven't had any issues so. Now it also doesn't matter right now for bubbles for what we're doing. So there that's mixed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my different colors. Now these are just uh, soap pigments, but you can use any kind of pigments, inks, powders, whatever you wanna use. Um, I just happen to have these, that's why I'm using them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my paintbrush, take this out, and this is another good reason to have a silicone base. I'm gonna put a little bit of resin over this eyeball. And that was beautifully done for the camera. Somebody gave me these little finger condoms for resin. They're actually kind of silly, but they actually do help me hold on to the eyeball. So it's really up to you if you want to use them. So just cover the entire eyeball with just a clear coat of resin, just a really, really thin coat, just enough to make it slimy, I guess would be the word, slippery, I don't know. So here's what I do next. Take off my finger condoms, because it's really hard to do anything with a condom on. All right, so I used my little um, squirty thing. Pick up a little bit of this dust. And I kind of just squirt it onto the resin. 
just directly on. I know it looks all globby and gloopy and icky and whatever, but I don't care because you'll see what's about to happen. Then I'm going to take a gold color. Any color really will do though, orange, gold, whatever. I'm gonna put a little bit of that into my clear resin. And it really doesn't take very much to color this stuff. I'm gonna stir that up. Now I have gold resin. It stirs really quickly and very easily. And this has got a shimmer to it, which I think actually adds a lot to these eyeballs. But you can use whatever pigment you want. So now I'm gonna take my finger condoms. Not thumb condoms, obviously they don't fit. And I'm gonna take my brush and where we had that red, I'm just gonna pull it out just like that. Again, doesn't really need to be perfect because it's gonna mostly go away in a minute anyways. So just kind of do that around the eyeball. There you go. Now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick up this gold color and I'm going to place it right on the eyeball. So that it kind of naturally falls down the eyeball. I'm going to clear away my iris or retina. What is that part? Now I've confused myself. The blue part, <laughs> I'm going to clear away and I'm going to let this gold go down. Now the resin is setting pretty quickly for me here because it's such a small amount. I usually work with a lot larger amount and it takes a lot longer for it to set. But you can kind of already see that it's getting that weird kind of milky zombie eyeball look, which is what I'm actually going for because I'm making these for some skeletons and skulls. And just take my brush and clear it away from the blue. And so you see these little, like almost um, the circular pattern from where I'm clearing away. Don't worry about that. It is not gonna show because once the resin actually starts to set, it's gonna keep leveling itself out. If it bothers you a lot, then just take your brush and clear it away. And you know what? That's pretty much it right there. So there's your bloodshot zombie eye. All done. If you're not happy with the way something looks, the good thing about this is it's not gonna set for another 15, 20 minutes. So you can go ahead and add a little bit more red if you want, or pull out some of the red that's there, add a little bit more white. If you want it to show a little bit more, just kind of play with it till it gets to where you want it to be. And so after I've done that, the way I get this to set in the shape that I want, because if I just leave it like this, when the resin hardens, it's gonna harden this way, and this is the shape you're gonna be stuck with. Now, obviously for eyeballs, we kind of want that kind of oblong eyeball-y shape. So in order to accomplish that, what I do is I take a weight, I take a weight and I stick on one side and then I push the eyeball against it and put a weight on the other side so that the eyeball is bent. And then that gives me the eyeball shape and I let the resin cure and dry that way and then it will hold that shape from then on. So that is how you do that and you get it the shape you want. So I do it on this silicone so that when it sticks, and it dries and all this is run off, I can pull it up and it won't stick to the uh, silicone and I can just cut all this extra stuff off. So there you go. That's really quick and easy way to make some eyeballs.